Hello, in today's video, we are going to learn how to classify the real numbers. Real numbers are used to describe quantities such as money and distance. The first set, the first group, is the natural numbers. Numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. If we will add to this group the number 0, then we will find the set of the whole numbers. If we add to the whole numbers the negative values, then we are going to find the group of the integers. And if we add to this group the fractions, then we are going to find the rational numbers. Rational number, it's any number that it can be written in the form of A over B, which means fraction, in which denominator it is not equals to zero. But if we have numbers like pi, which means decimal, never ending and not repeated, square root of seven, decimal, not repeated, never ending, square root of two, or e, these numbers, they cannot be written in the form of a fraction and then they are called irrational numbers. Rational and irrational together, they form the group of the real numbers. So, the symbol to write rational, it is Q, a capital letter Q. A terminated decimal like 0 0.1 to 5, this one is a rational number. Fraction that it will be a, a terminated decimal, that one, or a repeated decimal, that one is a rational number. Irrational numbers, they are decimals that they are not repeated and they are not terminated. Integers, they have the symbol capital letter Z, and they are whole numbers with their opposites. So, 0, positive, negative 1, positive, negative 2, and so on. The whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Natural numbers are whole numbers less 0. So, 0, it is not a whole number, a natural number, sorry. Let's try to classify what type of number is pi over 2. We said that pi is an irrational number. So, the pi over 2, it is not a whole number. It is not an integer. It is not rational because of pi. Then the number, it will be irrational. One point zero zero. The decimal is repeated. It is zero. So instead of all, we can simply write one. The one. It is a whole number. It's a positive integer. It is rational number because it can be written in the form of a fraction over one without changing the value. So it's rational. It's not irrational. So, 1, it's a whole number, integer, and it's a rational number. 3 and 2 thirds. 2 over 3, it's a 0 0.666 repeated. So, as a fraction, we can write it 3.6 repeated. It is not a whole number. It is not integer, but it is rational. We said that. Any decimal that is terminated or it is repeated, then that one is a rational number. 0 0.25 over negative 0 0.25 equals, in simplest form, Positive to negative is negative. 0 0.25 to 0 0.25, it's a negative 1. Negative 1, it is not a whole number. It's an integer and it is rational. Pi, it's an irrational number. So, the value all, it cannot be whole, 
it is not integer, it is not rational, the whole number, this value all, it will be irrational. Negative 0 0.5 to negative 0 0.5 equals. In simplest form, we can say negative to negative, it is positive, and 0 0.5 to 0 0.5, it will be a positive one. Positive one, so it's a whole number, it's positive integer, it's rational. It is not irrational. Zero point two five seven two six repeated. The bar on top of the decimals tell us that this group of decimals it is never ending. It's repeated. So rational, specifically an integer, this is a decimal, so it cannot be integer. But it is rational because the decimals are repeated. Thank you.